What's going on everybody? It's Aaron Cates and welcome back to the channel. Now I know I haven't been uploading as much as normal and there's a reason behind that. As many of you know, coronavirus is a thing going on right now. Well, the state that I live in, Florida, is under a stay-at-home lockdown, basically. So all you're allowed to do is leave to go to work and leave to go to the grocery store. That's about it. So all shipping on all parts has been delayed. Uh, it's all priority shipping for medicines and essential needs right now, like truck parts are way back on the back burner. Like ordering stuff on Amazon Prime is now taking like 10 to 12 days just for normal parts. And if you're not an essential business in the state of Florida, uh, you're basically closed right now. Like you can't open, you can't go to work. And luckily I have a job that I am an essential employee. I work for an essential company. I work for the government. So I can still go to work, but there's many other people that aren't. And a lot of them are people that supply parts for vehicles and things like that. So I'm kind of in a lose-lose situation right now, and I don't want to upload boring content for you guys and you guys not be interested in it. So I'm trying to just be patient and not record until I have something to record. So today, as you guys can see right here, we have another fender for the truck, and I'm going to show you why. So this fender right here is not the original fender, and that is not the original door. About three years ago, I was in a ditch, this door was open, and I went to back up to hit the brakes to shut this door without having to get out, you know, being lazy. And the door caught the ground and it bent the door all the way up into the fender. I'll include a picture of it, right? As you saw, all this was messed up. The door was messed up. And I replaced this fender with a fender off of a parts truck. I replaced this door with a door off of a parts truck. And they all matched. They were all the same color, but this fender right here had the clear coat issues all over it. That's why there's all these little lines, if you remember. Had a dent right here and someone told me on a forum online i've been trying to fix this hood gap right here that aftermarket fenders sometimes have a tendency to leave a hood gap like that and if you noticed all this vinyl peeled up all right here and a buddy of mine that does vinyl for a living told me that that means something is peeled up sticking to it just from the way it looks like there's certain spots that are stuck and then other spots peeled up he seems to think maybe the paint that was on it peeled up so instead of messing with this paint sanding it down or anything i went and bought a oem fender off of a 2500 and we're gonna be trying this out but as you see it's white and this side of it is white so i'm actually going to be painting this back side black just so when i open my engine bay kind of like this hood how this hood was white i don't want to open the engine bay and see a white fender so i'm gonna paint this side of it black and then we're gonna get it put on the truck. And as you guys can see, I am wearing a merch shirt. I will show you the back side of it. The back side of it is absolutely crazy, but I apologize right now, I cannot do any orders because of, like I said, the coronavirus, this company is not really able to get any shirts ordered in right now. And it's kind of, kind of a pain because I was wanting to release my shirts to the public and so you guys can buy them because I mean, the back of it is absolutely killer. And I'm gonna show you that real quick. And as you can see, the truck is on the back of it. So the back side is the truck, the front side is the YouTube name. Now this is just the first test run of these shirts. I plan on later changing them up, maybe having a shirt pocket and the YouTube name be a lot smaller, but this was just a test run. I actually got these made to wear to Nopi or Myrtle Beach Nationals as it is now being called, but coronavirus got that canceled as well and I was not able to go. And the whole reason was for the name that all the way across so people could see the name, they could see the build on the back and that's why I did it. I did purple for the purple truck, but and the next version of the shirt, I will be doing the shirt pocket or maybe no shirt, po shirt pocket with the YouTube name, super small over here. I'll be doing different colors of the shirt with the truck on the back. Now this is nice, very soft, stretchy material. It's not super cheap like Gildan shirts or anything like that. It's actually a very nice, comfortable shirt. I wanted my clothing merch to be nice and comfortable, not be cheap, kind of like Walmart shirts, if I must say, like a dollar store shirt that aren't breathable and are very hot. This is not that way. This is a very nice, comfortable, soft shirt. And as soon as this Corona pan uh, pandemic is over, 
These will be for sale to the public and the next shirt will be getting made and that will also be for sale. But for now, that will have to be on hold because of everything that is going on and I apologize for that. All right, everybody, kind of a weird place to spray it, but I needed it vertical so I wasn't aiming down and getting a lot of uh, drops in it and paint bubbles and things like that. So I needed it vertical, but it's not perfect. Like there's some weird like crap right here that I started to peel off and I thought maybe it'd make it worse if I peeled it off. So I left it on there because I mean, like I said, this is gonna be kind of hidden, but I didn't want the white to stand out, but I completely wiped it down with some acetone right there. I washed it and it's about as clean as it's going to get without me going like super nitpicky with it. But I'm just gonna be painting this inside right here and then this tub well. And then don't worry about overspray on the backside. I'm gonna be clay barring it before I put the vinyl on it to match the rest of the truck. So I just wanted this black, that way it doesn't really stand out too much. So I'm gonna throw you all up on time lapse and we're gonna get it painted. <laughs> I have to apologize. I don't know what all y'all can see, but the lighting in here is absolutely terrible. I'm trying to find a spot that looks good, but the problem is, is I have sunlight coming in from over here and I have no light coming from over here. So it's kind of like a contrast that I can't really help, but I'm just gonna go over it. I just finished the first coat of the black. I'm gonna go over and show you guys kind of what it looks like. Uh, I would like to do more time lapses, but if you guys can't really see anything, there's really no point in a time lapse. So I've got my snap on light here and going over, you can see splotchy. It's the first coat. Uh, I'm trying to get up in all the crevices as much as I can. Around, see it's still missing under there. And I did go over it with some primer before I ran out of primer. But there you go guys. I'm not gonna do the time lapses really. No point in it if you guys can't see anything. So I'll, I'll pick you up after the third coat and show you what it looks like. All right, everybody. This is the finished product. I just laid the third coat about five minutes ago. It's drying now. As you can tell, you guys can kind of see me in it. I have to let this dry for at least 24 hours before I mess with anything, so gonna stay hanging up in here with the fans on uh, I got all under here so now just gotta let it dry and tomorrow once this is dried for 24 hours I'm gonna clay bar the outside of it throw on some vinyl and we're gonna put it on the truck all right everybody well it is a complete week later since the last time you guys saw me when painted the fender that was up here. So it had a week to cure, so this paint should have no problems, should be solid. Uh, I painted it Saturday and Sunday. It rained all day, so I couldn't couldn't even work on the truck. I mean, it literally rained from when I woke up to when I went to bed, it was raining all day long. Didn't, didn't stop anything. So whole week later, I didn't wanna bother trying to do it on a day I got home from work or anything like that. And let me show you what the fender looks like. As you can see, the paint turned out great. I mean, it just, normal gloss black paint there's so many spots like up in there where it's white but this is just so like if you were to look in the engine bay you would just see black you wouldn't think that this was a white fender or anything like that i mean we got a couple little run spots but like i said it's not gonna be perfect i just wanted something to cover up the white so i'm gonna get this flipped over and we're gonna clean it with some acetone and then we're gonna wrap the outside of it and we're gonna throw it on the truck
everybody. I'm not even going to lie to you. I got very frustrated because the fender kept moving around on the table and I had to have my girlfriend come in and help me hold it because every time I tried to pull the vinyl tight, the fender moved on the table and I just, I couldn't get it to get tight. So I was constantly like fighting, pulling the fender across the table and the vinyl wrinkling up every time I tried to adjust the fender. So I really just needed an extra hand. I, I couldn't hold it anymore and right now, I am just tucking all the edges on the fender. The actual face of the fender is wrapped. I'm going around tucking the edges. So I'm gonna finish out this time lapse for you guys with uh, just recording me doing that. I'll get a little bit more closer up for you guys so you guys can actually kind of see what I'm doing. And the entire fender is wrapped. All the excess vinyl has been trimmed off. We have a couple imperfections, like right here. It tore a little bit. And there's a couple rock chips in the paint where they show through like that. Another little rock chip right there. That's where that dent was. And then there's an air bubble there, a little tiny air bubble there. But I'm gonna show you guys my imperfections because I'm not a professional. I'm an at-home DIYer but you guys can get a truck to look like mine by doing it yourself, like I do. Now, we're gonna pull the other fender off, and get ready to put this one on. Okay, now, when you get to your fender, you have 13 millimeter here, you have two 13 millimeters there, you have two 10 millimeters right here, you have the 13 millimeter hinge bolt, These two right here are 13 millimeter. There is a 13 millimeter down here. And there's a 13 millimeter back in here behind the bumper. And if you open your door, you have 13 millimeter there and a 13 millimeter there. Once you get all of those out, you'll be able to take the fender off. I have a baseball bat to hold the hood up. Ugh feet just laying on my arm i have a baseball bat to hold the hood up on this side uh, because once you take this hinge off how heavy the hood is it'll close on you so be careful have something to prop the hood up i'm probably just going to stick it down here near my air filter that is <laughs> i just noticed that my air filter is not even on it's just kind of sitting here I need to replace it anyways but yeah put something to hold the hood up i'm going to throw you guys up on time lapse and i'm going to get this taken off All right, everybody, so it's the next day. It's actually the next morning. I got the fender put on. I didn't record putting it back on because I'm, the whole reason in this, like I said, at the beginning of the video was because I thought that the aftermarket fender could be causing the hood gap. Um, I posted on a Facebook page a couple, I think it was like five weeks ago as I looked last night. And I was asking for advice on fixing the hood gap. And a guy suggested that he's seen with aftermarket fenders them causing the hood gap because they aren't made to fit perfectly. Well, I thought, you know, maybe that could be right. Maybe that fender just happened to be aftermarket, uh, although I bought it off a parts truck. Maybe it had been replaced in the past and it was aftermarket. I'll get another OEM fender and see if that fixes it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it didn't fix it and I'm at a loss for words. And I'm turning to you guys for help. I know I have about 500 of you that watch every single one of my videos, and I'm hoping out of the 500 of you, there's somebody that works at a body shop that knows kind of what to do because I'm at a loss and I'm about to just take it to a body shop and pay for them to do it. And you guys know 
I don't pay anyone to do anything. I do it all myself, but I kind of, I've hit that point where I don't think I can do this. I mean, it's latched, but it's not all the way down. And this is the gap I'm talking about. There's this gap right here. But I have a feeling it's to do with cab mounts. The cab mounts that are right in here. I'll throw up a picture right here of what happened. And you guys see that right here is where it's messed up at. And I think that's what's causing this gap right here. So if any of my viewers, my subscribers, anything, or you guys do body work, you guys do collision repair, and you've dealt with something like this, if it is the cab mounts, I am not going to mess with those myself. I'm going to pay someone that knows what they're doing to replace them because one, I don't have a welder, and two, it would be stupid of me because I, I bought the cab mounts in the past to replace them and I just never went through with it and ended up returning them. But it would be dumb of me to spend the money to buy them, to get a welder and to do it and not still not do it right and still have this problem and just waste all that time. I've spent three years trying to fix this and by now I've spent probably close to a thousand dollars and I could have just paid a shop to do it when I've been trying to do it myself this whole time. So if any of you, like I said, are body collision repairmen or anything like that, you have experience with this and you guys have an idea on what it is, either comment it down below or shoot me a message on Instagram at Aaron Cates and maybe we can talk it out and see if that could be it or not but any help or input i get is greatly appreciated this video did not go the way i was wanting it to but that's going to be the raw end of this is i was going to show you guys how to fix something and obviously i couldn't fix it so i need your help because i am tired of this hood gap you guys have commented on videos in the past fix the hood gap and i've been trying for three years to fix it that uh accident happened three actually it was over three years ago that it happened and I've been trying to fix it ever since then and have not been able to. So please, guys, if you have any input, either drop them down below or shoot me a message. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button. And I've got more videos coming. I know I've been kind of ghost for the last two weeks, but I've got more videos coming. I didn't want to post anything until I actually had something for you. So got a couple videos coming. Make sure if you want any shirts, Shoot me a message on Instagram. I'll get a list of you guys and I'll get more short shirts ordered. Still work on a website. So I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.